Hey everyone, I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always, and welcome to another episode of Sans Gluten. Today, we are attempting to make homemade, wonderful bread, courtesy of Bob's Red Mill, hashtag not spawn, but making gluten-free bread is something, that was one of the first things I wanted to figure out how to do, because it was one of the first things that Mr. Halise missed once we realized that he had a gluten intolerance. And so early on in our relationship, I kept trying different breads and they never quite worked. But thankfully things have changed. There's starting to be a lot more gluten-free breads out there, pre-packaged that you can buy. And so I wanted to give Bob's Red Mill a try because they have had a lot of different gluten-free products out lately and each one of them seems a little unique, a little different. So I wanted to test it out. Mr. Hollis is to my left with his noise canceling headphones on, typing on his computer. Ironically, I think these headphones are like the best thing I've ever bought for him because I can just say things and he doesn't hear me, he doesn't know. It's great. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this and see how well this wonderful, homemade, wonderful bread mix works by Bob's Red Mill. So to get the bread mix going, we actually have to prep the yeast. Um, so I need to fill this up with one and a half cups of warm water um, and let the yeast sit in it for about, I don't even know, five, 10 minutes, something like that while I get everything else going. So let's do that. Ooh, I'm serious about this yeast packaging. It's like not terrible. You need scissors to open this yeast packet. So while our, ooh, it's already doing stuff. Ooh. So while our yeast is getting ready, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grease our pan for our bread. I think I still have a bread pan. Let's figure that out. enough um, so our yeast needs to sit for like five minutes so while that's happening I'm going to grease our loaf pan something I really want to try to experiment more with is figuring out different breads that you can make at home that aren't like terribly terribly complicated oh man bread is just such a great I don't know universal thing that you can do to just show that you care you know Having some fresh bread available for people. It's just, it's just nice. It's hard to find a good gluten-free bread. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. Also feel free to roast me in the comments with uh, my terrible, terrible prepping. It's good enough, right? That's good. Oh yeah, that's doing stuff. Look at that, that's a time-lapse shot right there. Anyway, by the time you have prepped your baking sheet um, and whatnot, your yeast should be looking like that. <laughs> I have the paddle version on my KitchenAid mixer. I am using an, a KitchenAid mixer for this one um, because I'm lazy. Work harder, not smarter. Wait, no, that's wrong. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Something else I've been really wanting to do is even experiment with trying to create my own bread. Three egg whites, let's see if I can actually do this, dear God. Okay. If y'all know of a less scary way to get egg whites, let me know in the comments below because, ah, oh, got a little, got a little yolk in there. Fun fact about me, I'm allergic to eggs. I don't like dye or anything, but it's not a good time. So something else I wanna to begin to experiment with is using egg replacer 
to see if that's really a viable option. Y'all know what I'm saying, if y'all feel me. All right, got our eggs done. Gonna add our vegetable oil in, fourth of a cup. And then the packet. Waste not the eggs. I will probably cook them up for Dakota and mix them up with her dog food. But we'll see. She's getting kind of old, so I can't be too epic with it. Okay, so it wants us to mix it on low for two minutes. That's more medium, huh? Low. After I let it go for two minutes at a low speed, I went ahead and scraped down the bottom and then put it back on for another six minutes, making sure to set a timer. And what was really cool is you got to see as the six minutes progressed, it really kind of began to fluff up and spread out even more. So this is really neat. After the six minutes, I am now going to put it into its baking pan that I had already greased at the beginning of the video. If this bread turns out bad, sorry. <laughs> So now the thing we're supposed to do is let our batter now rise again in a very warm place. And even though we are in Texas today, surprisingly it's very undercast, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Something I've seen done is that people will take their batter and put it into another tray or vessel and have warm water in that tray or vessel so that it's a very warm place. So I'll probably just do that because I've tried doing this with other breads like the oven way, like having your oven on low or something like that. And it didn't seem to rise the right kind of way. Like it was a little too warm in the oven. Plus my oven's a little hard to control. So hopefully this will work and we'll get a nice rise on this. Okay, so I'm gonna take new container and put it right in the center here. Put our vessel as well. All right, hopefully this will simulate our very warm place. I basically just turned on my sink as hot as it could go. And uh, for an apartment, that's not too terribly hot. Let it rise until the batter reaches the top of the pan. So I guess I'll let y'all know how long that ends up taking for me and we can go from there. Okay, so it looks like our bread has risen. Look at it. It has risen to the top, so that means we can go ahead and stick it into the oven. I believe it's supposed to go in for another hour and a half. So hopefully this turns out well. Something I forgot to do before it started rising was put some butter on top of it. So I'm gonna do that right now um, before sticking it in the oven. It's done. Let us get. All right, so it is done. It has baked for about an hour and a half, almost an hour and a half, a little bit under. And it looks pretty good. We got a nice solid golden brown all the way around. I think I might have overdone it just a smidge, not gonna lie. But we need to get out some wire to take it out with. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay, we got it, we got this. Ah! 
So apparently we have to let it cool completely before we can cut into it. The baking science behind that, I do not know why. But that's what we're supposed to do, so that's what we're gonna do. Mr. Elise and I are gonna go get dinner. Production dog. Anyway, Mr. Halise and I are gonna go get dinner while this is cooling off completely, and then when we come back, we'll cut into it and give it a nice taste test. Ooh, and maybe have it with our wine. Mr. Halise has awoken and is now smelling the bread, percussing the bread, <laughs> using his nursing license. We have our bread. It is now nice and cool. Ooh, yo, bread! bread. <laughs> we, it's, this actually seems pretty good. You wanna try some? Yeah. Or we could just share this one. You wanna share this piece? Either one, it's moist. It's very moist and it smells, it smells like whole wheat bread. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, the butt is much more um, caramel-like, very, um, Kind of like a beer. Try that one. This is, it's good. It's really good. It abstains. This is the first official bread mix I'm trying on the channel, so I have nothing to compare this to, but I would say as far as directions go, I really love that it provides everything for you. Other mixes I've seen at the store, you have to have your own yeast. So that's really cool that they give you everything you need aside from your wet ingredients to make this happen. And the fact that your wet ingredients are only eggs and oil or butter is really cool too. So again, you don't need to be like a baking expert for this. I really like that too. So I feel like this is a pretty awesome gluten-free bread kit. Just trying. Have you not made bread? with your flour mixture? I haven't. Oh, that's interesting. I've only ever, yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of Sans Gluten. If you're new here, like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. Follow us on social media if the spirit moves you. And also check out our blog where we'll have a full review of this bread. Oh. What are you doing there? I'm doing like a samurai thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>